Okay, question two. We've got a function here given to us, so f of x is this function here, where a is a positive constant. Now the major clue in the question, it says given that x minus a is the factor of f of x. Now, from the factor theorem, we know that if x minus a, so if x minus a is a factor, then f of a is equal to zero. So let's work that out first. What is f of a? f of a will be 4a cubed plus 5a squared minus 10a plus 4a. Okay, and you can see that we can factorize a out. So if you factorize that out, we get 4a squared plus 5a minus 10 plus 4 and that simplifies down to a bracket 4a squared plus 5a and then minus 10 plus 4 gives us a minus 6 and that all of these equal to 0 so we've proved what which needed to be found Part B, it says hence find the value of A. So if we know that that equals to A, so if A times 4A squared plus 5A minus 6 equal to 0, then this means either A is so, thinking about in terms of factorizing here, I think you can factorize this further, so let's do that. If we factorize this, that gives us 4A minus 3 a plus 2. Now we've got three things being multiplied that equal to 0. So that means one of these three things has to equal to 0. So either a equals 0 from there, or 4a minus 3 equals 0, then a would be 3 quarters, or a plus 2 is equal to 0 and a equals minus 2. Now, they told us where a is a positive constant, that means this one will be invalid. And it's important to write this here so that the person that's marking your test will know this. Minus 2 is not a positive, therefore that's also invalid. So the correct answer, therefore, a equals 3 quarters. And then finally, for part 2 of B, B part 2, we want to find the exact solutions of this equation when f of x equals 3. Well, now we know what A is, let's rewrite that. So it would be 4x cubed plus 5x squared minus 10x. And then you've got 4 times a, we know a is 3 quarters, 4 times 3 quarters would just be 3, so it'll be plus 3 equals 3, which means those two cancel out, so we've got 4x cubed plus 5x squared minus 10x equals 0, let's factorise x out, so that's with 4x squared plus 5x minus 10 this time, and that equals to 0. So from here, we can see that either x equals 0. If I factorize this bit, although I don't think that factorizes, so using the calculator here, so 4x squared plus 5x minus 10 equals 0, just use our sole function there, we should get that x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 185 over 8. And 
all of those answers are valid.